Hello everybody, I'm Nimble Sloth. And I'm Baby Sloth. And today we're looking at Python. Yeah. Python. All, Python. All of the Pythons. Yes. Or Pythons. 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 Who cares? <laughs> and the pronunciation. Anyway, what we're going to be looking at this week is inputs or inputting data from the keyboard. So last week we looked at um, doing what? Mathematical yeah. uh, operands on variables. So let's have a look at this. So here we've got at the top of this program a little bit of information about the program. Then we've got this definition called main, which is going to be called when the program starts. Yes. Yep. So we're going to need to do something. We're going to need to ask the user something. So what should we ask them? What is your name? Okay. You want what is your name? So let's have yes. uh, name equals. I've forgotten this already. So <laughs> let's have a quick look here. Uh, input. Yeah. And we'll ask them some text. So name equals. Input. Input. Let's help if I spell it right, doesn't it? So it yes. knows that what we're going to store. Oops. Typo. That's, that's not last. Input. Are you written input? Input. Yeah. Input. Yeah, but before you put. Oh, input. <laughs> no, I now put it wrong. I know. Um, so we're going to have some text in here. And what we're going to ask these are, what's your name? Yeah. What? Or should we say hello? Hello. Hello. What is, is your, your name? name? question mark space because they're going to enter on the same line then we're going to need to do something with that so shall we get the computer to say hello and their name yeah so this is now using what's stored in that variable isn't it and we yeah. did that kind of thing yesterday so this time we're going to, not yesterday last week print what we're we going to print print um, um, hello hello uh, print hello and remember how we added the things together yeah. name so we're going to say name input hello what is your name so the computer's going to ask you your name that's there and then on here we're going to say print hello name should we test if it works yeah. it's not very exciting but let's test if it works okay so let's open up Bring that this the, the console and remember how we ran this? We had to locate or navigate to where? Do you remember? No. The directory there where it's saved. I don't remember. So if we look where we are now, we're just in the user directory, which is Pi. So we, we saved this Pi. to the desktop. So CD. Remember, it's cat desktop. case sensitive. Yeah. And do you remember to cheat? If you start typing, you can just press the tab key and it fills out desktop. Oh. Enter. Oh, CD. You want to do it? I happen to know that it's on iNimble Sloth, so I'm going to start I press tab, iNimble Sloth, Yay. ls, and there's two files in there. iNimbleSloth.py is what we did last week. We need to do the second two. one. So let's run that sudo python iNimble Sloth 2.py. What is your name? Hello, what is your name? Um. Are you going to put? What, Baby Sloth or your real name? Harrison. 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 Do you want to type it? Yeah. Go for it. Harrison. And enter. Hello, Harrison. Yay. Yay. It so works. we took some input. I oh, know it's a very boring program. <laughs> Yay. We're not really that enthusiastic. Um, but it's showing you the principles. Okay. So let's have a look here. Hello, what is your name? Question mark. Can so, we do what is your favourite food after that? Yeah, we can. Hello, what is your name? Question mark. Notice the space that I left there at the end. Yeah. The reason I left because the space... Because otherwise it will just all go together. Yeah, so it squashes it up. So your answer's there. Yeah. And then the second line here. Hello, Harrison. So it's reading back. Hello. That's actual text. It's, it's printing back. Sorry, hello. Plus name. The contents of name, which it read from here, which was Harrison. So what do you want it to ask you? What... Oops. Oops. What is your favourite food? <laughs> okay, so let's store that in a suitable variable name. What should we call the variable? Um, food. Food. Food equals, let's spell input correctly this time. Yes. Input. And um, what was the question? What is your, your favourite? Fav I'm not sure on the spelling of this. Tab. 
No, you can't. It oh. this doesn't exist, unfortunately. Oh. Favorite. Um, that's wrong. It's f um, I don't know. Favorite. <laughs> I'm not very good with it's this. It's favorite. Loads of people spelling. Is it? I think. Favorite. That will do. It's probably going to be wrong. <laughs> Whether it's wrong or not, who cares? What is your favorite food? Okay. Space. Add a space. And then what we're going to put. What are we going to do with that? Um, Should we say, I don't like that? That. I like electricity or something yeah. like that. <laughs> so the computer is going to respond with print. I don't like. And what doesn't he doesn't like? He doesn't like. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. We need an escape character in here. What's that? Um, so basically, oh. the apostrophe is to say the end of the text. Oh. But it's not the end of the text. It's actually a, an apostrophe we want to add in that line. So if you add a slash, it's an escape character, and it lets you have this apostrophe. I don't like space and food. Yeah. And what's this? You like this. I don't like that food and name so he's going to tell you oh you're going to need a space in front of this though aren't you as well and space and name so he's telling you i don't like that food harrison why is there so many pluses over here because we have to add everything together we have to string them together um uh, plus now we're going to add some text why is that apostrophe there because it needs to that's a good question so this apostrophe we're going to need a space in between the food and the name. Oh. Otherwise, it's just going to be stuck together. So we put another space. Oh. So I don't like food, space, Harrison. I like to eat electrons. Electrons. <laughs> uh, yum. 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 Okay. And end that. Shall we run that and see if it works? Yes. So save that. Let's go back up to here. Oh, little tip, remember? You can just press the up arrow and the last line that we ran is there. Yay. What is your name? This time I'm gonna do it. I Nimble Sloth. Hello, I Nimble Sloth. What is your favorite food? Um, I don't know. Fish. I don't really like fish. <laughs> Let's put fish. <laughs> oh, my poor pet fish. I don't like fish, I nimble sloth. I like to eat electrons. Yum, yum. Oh, I forgot to space at the end. Look, I wonder how many people are screaming. You oh, forgot no. to space. We can do that by just adding it in here. There we go. So we've got space. Okay. So it's pretty boring so far. But shall we introduce if statements and doing some kind of checking yes so like that think of a number between one and ten to save typing it out look at this here's something i prepared earlier okay yeah because we you couldn't be bothered to type it because you're lazy <laughs> okay so let's have a look at how this do works all of it isn't it yes do all of it we'll do all of it and then we'll get it running in a loop so variable so we're just going to store it in a variable equals input please enter a number between 1 and 10 so it's going to ask the user please input a number between 1 and 10 and store the answer in the variable called variable and then we're going to do this no, statement it's called var var well yeah it's short for variable <laughs> then we're going to do some kind of check on this so this is also an introduction into the if statement so what are we asking the if statement lets you check if it's this condition do this or else do that so if the input variable, oh, sorry, if the integer variable, so we've had to convert the variable to an integer. Remember what integers are? We looked at this last time. Do you yeah. remember? Whole numbers, whole yeah. numbers. Because it so reads it in from the input here, because it reads it in from the input as a string. So we convert it to um, an integer variable is less than 10. So if the input is less than 10, please print the number is lower than 10. It doesn't say the, it just says Oh, well, the number. number. Oh, well done for correcting me. You're so good. <laughs> Else, so that means if this rule here is not met, this one, if it's not less than 10, yeah. it must be greater than 10. Yes. So we're going to put this in. Print the number is higher than 10. It doesn't say the number, it says number. Oh, 
and I'm going to add one more thing to the top here. While true, we got this wrong last time. Oh, yeah. I, I had to. It has to be a capital letter for true for some reason. One, two, I don't three, know four. Why. One, two, three, four, and we'll have to move everything across. And remember, why it's white it? space. White? Well, oh. it's called white space, but I know we've got a black background. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's run this, and then it's the last why thing the we need to do. so far right? Oh, okay, this is another imp important um, question. So, with each... I don't know what the correct term is on this, but within the oh. definition, if you look, we come in four spaces. And within this command, we come in four spaces. And all of these uh -oh. run together. But if is another statement where things are inside the if statement. Ow, so, you just sorry, I just knocked you. You so, just punched me. <laughs> I didn't punch you, I just knocked you. you so where, me. where we drop into this if statement, I'm being rather animated with my hands. Uh, where we drop into the if statement, we have to come in four spaces. Okay, so let's oh. run it. Let's run. call this. Oops, I've clicked on the wrong thing. I don't want the VNC. I've gone too far. I want this. Okay, so here we've got the thing. Do you want to know a really cool trick how to clear this off as well? Yeah, slash clear. It's not slash oh. clear. Mr. Clear. I'm smarty pants. Clear. clear. Yeah. Oh. Now we can just press the up arrow. You press the up arrow. Press the up arrow again because clear was the last command. Now press enter. Hello, what is your name? Poo poo pants. <laughs> it says popo. <laughs> it says popo. Oh, I'm gonna leave it popo pants. <laughs> popo pants. Hello, popo pants. What's your favourite food? What's popo pants' favourite food? Spaghetti. 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 <laughs> Somebody touch on my spaghetti. I uh, don't like baguette. Popo pants. I like to eat electrons. Yum yum. yum. Please enter a number between one and ten. Does it have to be? Well, this is the thing. It's the if statement. So the computer... So we're doing some kind of one error checking. One million. Okay, we'll do one million. So the computer is asking for between one, one and ten. Million. Okay, you can ask. Type it. But what happens if somebody enters a number greater than ten? One million dollars. Okay, <laughs> let's press enter. Number is higher than ten. And it's going to start the whole thing again. Name? So really, we shouldn't start the whole thing again. What we should have done is... We, we want to error check this number. So let's get rid of that. Let's take these back to here. And then we'll do this as the last check. And then we'll say thank you very much for watching. Yes. Watching uh, all of the video, hopefully. What? It's 11 o'clock already? I thought it Oops. was earlier. One, two. Okay, so. It's 11 o'clock at night. 11, no, it's not 11 o'clock at yeah, night. Yeah, it is. It's 7 o'clock in the day. Why is it so dark outside? Right, anyway, let's enter this while here. So, while true. So, we want to error check what the user's typing in and make sure that they enter a number that's only between 1 and 10. Oh, why can't we do like a million? Because I only want a number between 1 and 10 on this but program. Why? Right, but that's safe. boring. It is boring, I know, but we're just learning the basics. So let's Ugh. clear let's clear this. So clear, clear oh. let's run the Python again. So what is your name? I'm going to put Mr. Pooh Poo Pants. Spell it right this time. Mr. Poo Poo Pants. Hello, Mr. Poo Poo Pants. What is your favourite food? Poo. No, not poo. <laughs> we had spaghetti last time. No, don't. <laughs> this is Harrison. Okay, I don't like poo, Mr. Poo Poo Pants. I like to eat electrons. Yum, yum. Please enter a number between one and ten. And remember, this is a while loop. Five. Oh, no, no, no. I want to show the error checking first. Oh. Let's, enter bef let's enter greater than ten. Why eleven? Oh. Oh, we did this wrong. We did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the while. The while. Should be above. So this is this is all good what because did it shows. What you do that for? Should be above the input, shouldn't it? Why did you do that? It's just constantly repeating. I did it on purpose to test you to see if you'd notice no, why you it wasn't didn't. working. No, you didn't. You did it by accident because you were silly and you did it wrong. <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure about that. Let's get these spaces right. I need to go across four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try this now. Save. Oh. You're gonna have to clear it. Aren't you? Yeah, let's let's get that. I can't get the mouse there. Clear. Okay, press it up. 
You Press enter. Did. Oh no, there's something wrong. Line, Line 19. 19. Let's go back to 19 and look at the spacing. So it's got to be, oh yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, because it's within inside the while loop. Oh. So it has to be four across. Okay, so let's go over this then. It's so we've got so our while loop. Far across. We jump, it is so far. We jump in the while loop, so we're four spaces across and we have an input. And we ask the user to enter a number between one and 10. We're gonna error check this, so we're gonna continuously loop around. If it's greater, oh, it's gonna continuously loop. It's always gonna continuously loop. Yeah, because uh, you've done it wrong. No, 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 no. We're going to break. I know how let's to hope, do it. Let's hope that the break command works here. Uh, I know how to do it all. You know how to do it. Let's check this. Let's check this. Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it. Yeah. Oh, no. It's still not working. Uh, line, line 20. Line 10. No, line. It's complaining line 20. Why not this? Oh, no. That's line I, oh, I, I don't know if the break works on this programming language like this. Let's just leave it like this and have it looping Ugh. around continuously. Okay. Let's just Open see if this bit works. Thing. Run this. Uh, it's still not liking. It's what? still not liking. It's. Oh, you know why? It's because we've it's been really stupid. This should be it's here. So, it's so far across. It is That's so far why. across. I told one, two, you. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. It's because I'm rushing. That's why it so doesn't work, because it's like all the way across These white the spaces are like this. Oh. What's your name? It can't be Poo Poo again. Wait, can no. I just type in the, 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 Oh, you're just doing the testing name, okay? Enter. Hello. <laughs> What's your favourite food? <laughs> I don't like... I like electrons. Yum, yum. Please enter a number between 1 and 10. Let's... Shall we do... Hmm. I think this is going to continuously loop this bit. Look, 10. Please, number is higher than 10. <laughs> Please enter a number. How is it higher? Number is higher than <laughs> If number is less than 10, uh, it should be less than or equal to. Oh. We could, so we could easily fix that. By, we could easily fix that. Why by putting we 11. it 11? Because if the number is less than 11. Oh, and then you need to change it all because it's on 10. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 let's give it a go. No, it's not going to work. On, Why is it not going to work? On Hello, line, what's your name? On line 23. What's your favourite food? It's not going to work. Okay, so let's enter a number. You said 10, didn't you, before? Let's try that again. See? Number is lower than 10. <laughs> it's not going to work. I told you. I told you it wasn't going to work because you need to change 1 and 11, like between 1 and 11, and then number is lower than... But we're going to get the same. So... Greater than or equal to. I don't know how to enter greater than or equal to on this. This program language is less than or equal to. Sorry. Let's try that. This is Why all on the fly. It's nice on the fly, isn't it? Why don't you just write all and then equals? Oh, you could do, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. You could do. F F F F. Let's enter ten and see what happens. Number is lower than ten. Ah. So if number is lower than or equal to ten, it prints this. We don't want that though, do we? We want if it's equal to 10 else there's one that's called elif elif we could try it's this elif. elif it's another statement that we can do l if number is greater than 10 you know it's been 20 minutes has it been 20 minutes yeah. well we just want to get this finished we just want to get this finished oh what does it need doing uh, and then we can do here else Elif. Oh, Elif. We, we missed, we missed, we missed variable. Uh, L if var is greater than 10, number is higher than 10. L if, mm. or else then the number must be 10, hadn't it? Else print number must be 10. <laughs> I said number must be 10. <laughs> number must be 10. That must, sounded must be. like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yoda, because he sounded like him then. Let's run this. No, I'm not. Oh, let's do it. Yoda. 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 Favourite food. Space food. You spelt Yoda wrong. Did I? Let's I try this. Ten. tricked you. Oh, I'm getting very frustrated and we might not have a video. 
Can we just do bye? Just repeat bye. <laughs> no, we want to get pe- we want to get this working for people, don't we? Yeah, but it's gonna be like hours. Well, should we pause it and come back when it's working, and then yes. go? This is what we did wrong. Yes. Okay. So we're back, and yes. you can see there's a bit more code. It took us ages. It didn't actually take us ages. It took us half an hour. Well, didn't, don't say things like that. Why? <laughs> right. What we've got here is we have got the whole program. Let's have a look. Not very exciting, I know, but it shows you how to read in inputs and then act on them. And we've yes. got some error checking as well. Yes. All of the error checking. Oh, I love the error <laughs> checking. OK, so variable name, oh, input. Oh, I want to run it on. Hello, what's your name? I know you want to run it, but let's go through what we've added. Print, hello, and then the name that's held in there. Food is going to be equal to what's your favourite food? So what the user types in. We've already yeah. established that, yep. Print. I don't like, with the escape key, food, and then their name, comma. We added that comma to make it look a little nicer. I like to eat electrons, yum, yum. Then we're going to do some error checking. So when the person enters in the number, we're going to ask them to enter a number between 1 and 10. And we only want them to enter a number between 1 and 10. So we put, please check again. So first off, though, we need some way of keeping track of have they entered this correctly or not? Is there an error? So I've created this variable called error check equals zero so there's no error if it equals zero if it equals one there's an error whilst error check is equal to zero okay so whilst it's equal to zero we're going to enter two equals is there and we had to look back at what we did the last did i just say that right no it's considered there's an error if it's a zero yeah but oh yeah you needed to yeah, because we did, that's why. So yeah, it is considered an error state if it's in zero, just to clear that up. So it jumps into here. Initially, it's considered in an error state. And it asks the person, because ver- it's an error state because there's nothing in variable, please input uh, a number between 1 and 10 and store it in variable. Then we're going to do a check on this. If the variable, and remember we're checking it as an integer, is greater than zero and the number in variable which again we're checking as an integer, is less than 10. Okay, so if it's between, uh, this case, 1 and 9, we're going to put, print to the screen, the number is between 1 and 10. And we select the error checking to, there's no error. Yes. So it's going to leave this while loop and come down to here and print bye-bye. Else, if the number is greater than 10, then there's some kind of an error. So we must print, it's greater than 10. Please try again. Else, if, or elif, as it's pronounced in this syntax, or as it's written in this syntax, if the number is less than one, it's outside of that range. So print, it's less than one. Please try again. Please try again. And notice we haven't changed the state of the error, so it's going to continue to loop. Else, or elif, the integer stored in variable is equal to 10 then this is also considered within the range between 1 and 10. But in this case, I'm just putting the number entered was 10. I don't know why I decided to do it like that. I just did. <laughs> okay, can we, we run it now? Because we could. Uh, and we need to set the error checking to say, look, there's no longer an error. Let's run it. You're desperate to run it. You're desperate yeah. to run it. Clear the screen. Clear the screen. Okay, run the application. No, you need to make it, press it up arrow twice. Enter. Hello, what's your name? What's your name going to be today? Eggman. Enter. Hello, Eggman. Oh, it didn't work. Ah, oh, why didn't it work? <laughs> because we put this crazy comma in. Hello, Eggman. I don't like electrons. What's gone wrong? No, it's fine. No, it has gone. Oh, I'm overcomplicating it. Ah, oh, I'm thinking a step ahead. What is your food? Come on, it did work. It did work. <laughs> What's your favourite food? What's your favourite food going to be, Harry? Hey. Eggs. I don't like eggs, Eggman. I like to eat electrons. Yum, yum. Please enter a number between 1 and 10. Let's try and break it. So we're going to do and test the error checking. Enter 0. It's outside of the range. 0. Enter. The number 0 is less than 1. Please try again. Okay. Enter a number between 1 and 10. Enter higher than 10. 11. The number 11 is greater than 10. Please try again. So our error checking's working. Now let's enter a number between 1 and 10. 9. The number 9 is between 1 and 10. Bye-bye, Eggman. Yay! Eggman away. So we could also just check that 10 is working. 
Yes. So the name is QQ. The favourite food is QQ, QQ, QQ. And uh, enter the number 10. And also that works. The number you uh, the number entered was 10. Bye mm-hmm. bye, QQ. So this QQ. is a really, really boring program, I know. But it's to introduce you into uh, Python. reading. Well, yeah, Python. But with Python, it's to introduce you into reading in variables or strings from the keyboard and doing some kind of error checking on them uh, and processing them or yes. mathematical operands on yes. them. And that's the video for today. Yes. Yep, so I hope you enjoyed the Python video. Bye bye everybody. <laughs> bye bye. Hello everybody, I'm Nimble Sloth. And I'm Baby Sloth. And today we're gonna to be doing something different. Coding with I Nimble Sloth. And what are we gonna be doing? Looking at Python. What, the snake? The snake, Python. No, I don't know but why, why you search that. Why is there pictures of snakes everywhere? <laughs> to make it a little bit more interesting when people first joined the Ooh, video. So let's have a look at that big fat one.